for 30 Day, of course. Today is with the Angels, so we get a chance to talk to their general manager. He's a good guy. He's a, he, get, he gets the show, which is the most important thing, so we can have some fun with him. And we'll start with me mispronouncing his last name. Front Office Focus is uh, presented by Cole Resnick, Perry Manashian. I get it right, Per? I get that okay? Pretty good. That's pretty good. Close enough. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, your ball club here. A lot of people like him. Uh, let me get a little thumbnail here. You know, Upton's had a good spring. Um, you're probably getting a little something out of Pujols and Otani. Very important. Give me a little thumbnail in the last three weeks in Tempe. Go ahead. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a great three weeks. Getting to know the staff. Joe Madden has been beyond great. You know, he's, his resume speaks for itself. So just watching him interact with players, the way he communicates, it's been it's been awesome. Personnel wise. We've had some good springs. that got some guys that are really important to us. Jay Up looks great. He's swinging the bat really well, playing good defense in left field. I know that's something we've talked about and worked on a lot. You know, Shohei's been you know, Shohei's been Shohei. You know, I think we all know how talented he is. He can do things on a baseball field other people can't do, and he's been able to show this spring how talented he is. So hopefully that carries over to the regular season. And you know, one of the highlights for me this spring has been getting to know Albert. First ballot Hall of Famer should be a unanimous 100% vote in, in my opinion. And uh, the person is just beyond, uh, beyond impressive. Just what he does on the field, his foundation off the field, how he prepares, how he works. He's one of the first guys here, you know, to do what he's done in his career and to be one of the first guys at the ballpark every morning and the routine he has. He's, he's been, he's been, uh, that's been, that's been a highlight for me. And you're 100% right. He's one of the great right-hand hitters we've ever seen. 100% foul is fine by me. I'm with you there. I, I, Otani, to me, Perry, is very, very important. Uh, I think you need an ace in the worst way. Now, uh, how are you going to handle this? We know he can hit, and I, but you got a good offense. Uh, you need to get 28 starts out of him. Where, you know, not just good starts at home. You know, he was good uh, at home a couple years ago, but not so good on the road. Are we going to use him every fifth day? Do you feel confident that he can pitch a big game for you when you need to have a win at Yankee Stadium? Give me a little rundown on his pitching, most importantly, as far as training camp is concerned. Go ahead. Yes, so we're going to go to a six-man rotation, and we feel pretty good about the six we have. He's going to be a part of that rotation. He's not going to pitch on a specific day. He's going to be part of the group. So, um, And we're going to let him go. He's going to pitch until he tells us he can't. So it's it's one of those things where – I've been in different situations where you try and protect guys and you put inning li innings limits on guys, start limits on guys, and they still, you know, it still doesn't work out. So for us, you know, and, and, and Joe and I are on the same page on this one, we're going to communicate with them every day. And from a stuff standpoint, it's as good as anybody in the game. Uh, physically, he's a lot stronger than he's been in the past. I think anybody that's seen him this spring training, how physical he's put on some, some really good weight and the ball's coming out really easy. So we're really excited. Can he pitch big, big games? He has in the past. I mean, it hasn't been here yet, but in Japan, he's pitched some big games, and we don't see any reason why he couldn't here. We feel really good when he's on the mound. All right, you're going to give him a day off from DH the day after he starts and the day before he starts? Is that how the Angels are going to do that? So no restrictions. So we're going to talk to him. If he feels good and he can DH the day before, we're, we're going to consider DHing him. If he feels good and can DH the day after, um, we're going to get to consider DHing him. If he's pitching and wants to hit, and um, you know that's something that he feels good about and wants to do, we're going to consider it. So nothing's off the table. Uh, we want him to play. We want him to be a baseball player, uh, run the bases. He stole a base yesterday. You know, uh, go first to third, score from first on a double, and you know, from a pitching standpoint, go out there and pitch. And he's got the type of talent, I believe. And, and again, Joe and I are on the same page on this. You know, if we just let him be himself and go play, good things will happen. Good job. Very good answer, Perry. All right, shortstop. Uh, is last year the real deal for the kid you got from the Orioles? You got to see it again. The average fan, Chris Russo, would say, well, you know what? 60 games, nice season. Let me see it again. Do you feel confident that he can hit 270, 280, and make all the plays at that spot based on what you've seen in spring training? Let me hear. We do. We feel confident. And I, I'm a, I think we're obviously it was the first move. From a baseball operations standpoint, we made this offseason acquiring a shortstop was was a was a was high on the list, and he fits what we're looking for. It's a defender. He handles the bat. He puts the ball in play. He's improved offensively. 
over the last five years. Last year, obviously, you know, in a in a short sample, but still sh still showed that he can do it. So I think he's coming into his own. He's a young thirty year old, and and to me at least, I, I think he's going to be a big addition for us. All right, Joey Adele, what are we going to do with him? Minor leagues to start. It was not a, an illuminating start to him last year. Give me a little rundown on your top prospect. Go ahead. Yeah, it was a rough start. Yeah, obviously, last year he had, a, he had a rough go. I think he's going to look back at that five years from now and say that's the best thing that ever happened to him. So he'll start in the minor leagues. He's got some things to work on. He knows that. He's a great kid. He's a hard worker. Uh, yeah, he's going to show up at some point and impact this team in a positive way. Interesting. Your closer, you know, he got a lot of personality, gives up occasional home runs, but he throws the ball at 100 miles an hour, and he can go multiple innings. He's not afraid to be, you know, the poster boy of your team. You know, we know uh, the Angels' starting staff, maybe you need a little help in that bullpen. He's important. Thoughts with him? Go ahead. Really important. Really important. Been really impressed with the guy, how he works, how he prepares. I think last year uh, was a was – Obviously, a dominant year for him. He incorporated the change up a little bit more to left-handed hitters, had a better year, and we expect him to be pretty good back there. He gives us a little edge, too. Uh, and the same thing with, with Jose. They both bring a little edge. They play with a little swag, and you know, I think that's you know, for us and where we play, and, and I think it's going to be something that's, uh, that's important for us to uh, have a little attitude uh, out there in the in that. A hundred percent. I'm with you on that. Now, listen, I didn't ask this like one of the last things on Trout. We know how great he is. Do you feel and do you sense it from ownership? Hey, he's 30 years old. It's about time. Let's get him into the playoffs. So I don't got to hear about the fact the best player in the world, nobody knows who he is because we never see him in a postseason. Is there a little inherent pressure on front office based on that? Let me hear. I, I guess uh, pressure for me is what you put on yourself. And obviously, from a baseball operations standpoint, we want to put a good team on the field. We want to compete. We'd love to make the postseason. Um, you know, Mike will be the first one to tell you, and I know there's a lot of questions and get Mike to the playoffs. It's not just about him. It's the team. He loves this organization. He chose to stay here for a long time. He did not have to do that. Uh, just shows what kind of guy he is and what he's all about, how much he loves this place. And there's other players in the clubhouse, and, and you know, Anthony Rendon signed here for a significant period of time. He didn't come here to lose. You know, and some of the free agents that we were able to acquire and, uh, you know, Kurt Suzuki, who's got pedigree and, and is used to making the postseason. He didn't sign here to lose. So it's a really good collection of players. It's a really good collection of makeup. You know, Dexter Fowler and some of the other guys we brought in. I think it's going to be a, a I think the makeup of the team is going to be really competitive. And that's exciting. You know, I think we're going to go out there every day with the manager we have and, and give it what we have for that particular day and see what happens. That's an excellent point. You're right, Suzuki. He's won a championship. Uh, you know, Fowler won a championship. That should rub off 100%. Last thing, Perry, you know, listen, if you want to analyze the Angels, you can go, you know, as high as 92, 93 easy, or you can look at it uh, as a sports fan now. You're a sports fan now. You know what? Pitching yeah. uh, 81 or 82. That's the key to the team. I mean, you're going to score runs. Uh, you know, the division is winnable. You got to get Otani good, and you got to get, you know, the Haney's of the world, the Canning's of the world, Dylan Bundy's of the world. These guys got to be pretty good major league pitchers. They've shown you some signs. They got to, you know, they got to make starts and win ball games. I think that's the key to the ball club. I know you don't want to say that because that puts too much pressure on one element of it, but you probably down deep agree. Is that correct? Right, absolutely. I think we all know that. I think pitching and defense, you know, we have to be better defensively too. You know, and that's that's something that we've talked about at length this spring. We have to be better at running the bases, but it's, it's going to all come down to pitching. We realize that we have a pretty good um, from a talent standpoint. It's a good lineup. We should score runs and it's going to come down to to the mound producing. And you know, I've, I've said this a lot and internal improvements important. You cannot go out and sign trade for 10, 12 pitchers. So what we have here and we've got some talented guys. Andrew Heaney's just scratching the surface. We expect him to be pretty productive and have a big year. Griffin Canning, anybody that's watched him, you know, he can do different things with the baseball. It's really good stuff. He's competitive. Uh, There's swing and miss there. Dylan Bundy had a great year last year. Hopefully he can build off that and continue to do that this upcoming year. So we're excited. I, I think it's um, I think it's a pitching staff. And, you know, I think they have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder too, just from talking to the guys and, I think bringing in an Alex Cobb, who's really been impressive this spring, uh, a Jose Quintana, who's also been 
impressive, not only on the mound, but in the locker room, what he brings to, to the table is, is really important for some of these guys. Great job, Power. Looking forward to it. We'll check in throughout the year. Always appreciate awesome. it. A few minutes. Very honest today. Good job. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anytime.